Hey guys, I'm Greg O'Shea and I'm here with Team Ireland for Olympic Day and I'm going to get you moving. There's so many benefits both physically and mentally to exercise so I'm going to show you some of my favourite movements and you can do them anywhere, you don't need any equipment, just a good attitude. So here's the first one. So we're going to squat all the way down as if you're sitting into an imaginary chair. You'll see here, imagine you're sitting back into a chair, you want to get that 90 degree angle with your legs and then we're going to stand back up. Instead of just doing a normal air squat, we're going to go elbow to knee, really rip that knee up to your elbow, back down to an air squat, and other side, and we're just gonna keep repeating that. So all the way down into that imaginary chair, rip that knee up, and keep going for as many reps and sets as you like. Okay, the next exercise is a lunge, but we're gonna do a bit more fun with it. So we're gonna lunge backwards. So a reverse lunge, we're gonna keep those nice angles with our legs, you'll see here. Keep a nice 90 degree angles with both our legs, keep the, keep the body upright, and then we're gonna come back up, and we're gonna kick the leg through, and straight back into reverse lunge. We're just gonna keep that movement there. So this is obviously working our legs, but it's also working our balance and core control. Once you've done a certain amount of reps on one leg, you're obviously just gonna swap sides and do it on the other leg then. Don't put your knee on the ground behind, just keep it ever so slightly off the ground, kick through, and repeat. We're gonna get moving a little bit now, but laterally. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna side lunge, keep the upper body nice and upright, don't be falling over towards the ground. We're gonna pop back out of that, skip over, and do the other side. I want a little bit of a skip in between each side lunge. Just keep high energy, keep dynamic, all the way down into that side lunge, power out of it, and just keep that movement going. Always keep your feet separated, don't be crossing over your feet like this, because you'll fall over and just keep repeating for as many sets and reps as you like. This next exercise is a full body movement that's gonna work our upper body, our core, and our lower body, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our hands down onto the ground, so a little bend in our knees, get our hands onto the ground. We're gonna walk out into a tall plank position. So we're gonna make sure that our head, hips, and feet are in a straight line. We're not dropping our hips down or have them up nice straight line and once we get out there we're just going to walk straight back and stand up so walk all the way out nice strong tall plank walk all the way back and just keep, keep repeating that for as many reps and sets as you like this exercise is going to work your upper body but also your core strength so we're going to go down to the ground we're going to be in a tall plank position so you'll see my head hips and feet are in a straight line i'm not dropping my hips up or down, they're nice and strong in the middle there. And from here, what we're gonna do is if you have a tray of water on your back and you don't want it to spill, keep your core nice and steady and you're just gonna tap your shoulders. You'll see the way my body isn't moving at all. That's what we want. We don't wanna be moving when we lift the hand up nice and strong and keep tapping those shoulders. So those are great exercises that I do every week that you can do anywhere. It doesn't matter, you don't need any equipment, just a good attitude that's gonna help your physical health, but also your mental health. And now, people's fitness varies, so you do reps and sets that's gonna suit you, and just have fun with it, and let's get moving for Olympic Day.